hey, from all of us here at this year's 75th anniversary and spending the weekend on St. Croix Customer Appreciation Day. We've been here. This is one of the, the events that we look forward to coming to every single year. And on behalf of the people at St. Croix and those of us that are here that make a living in the fishing industry, I want to thank you for joining us today. We hope to share some stuff with you that will help you find and catch some more fish. That's what this event is all about, helping you find and enjoy the sport in many different ways. I get to talk about walleye fishing, something that I really, really like to do. But before, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about my six favorite presentations. But before I get into that, I need to tell you a story. About 15 years ago, I got kind of on a kick. And it, I wanted to see if I can catch outfish live bait with artificials. And I said, I'm going to do this for two years. And I'm going to only never use live bait, and I'm going to fish in the boat with people that are using live bait, and I'm going to fish with a variety of different kind of artificial baits, particularly baits, jig-style baits that trigger strikes, triggering effect. I said, I'm going to do this for two years. Well, two years led to 15 years, and I learned a lot. And that's what I want to share with you today, a lot. There is lakes that artificials will work all season long and outfish live bait. There's other bodies of water, generally what we term middle, uh, uh, middle, uh, uh, middle, middle uh, aged lakes that are relatively clear. We got a lot of perch, some suspended forage in it, uh, mesotrophic lakes, these kind of lakes, bait shines in. There's times that an artificial will not outfish, you know, live bait. We see this a lot. Now, in dark stained water lakes and rivers and current, uh, uh, different story. There's many, many, many circumstances where I can outfish live bait with artificial baits. So this whole triggering concept really became almost an obsession with me. And I would say, say that there's 50, about 40% of the season on a wide variety of lakes, I can hold my own against live bait and in many cases out fishing. I mean, there's bodies of water like up in Canada, you don't ever need live bait. You can catch all the walleyes you need on a variety of artificial baits. And this holds true in a lot, a lot of bodies of water. So this was a really learning experience. I've done a lot of television shows, magazine articles, podcasts, talking about how to trigger fish with these six families of baits. And, uh, what I had learned with them, I'm going to talk about, first I want to talk about soft baits. You take a moon tail, this is an example, this is a moon tail jig with a boot tail, it, with a boot tail on it. Boot tails of shapes, so let me talk about the shapes. I want to show you these. We help the people at Big Bite Bait design colors. They, 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 that this is uh, a, one of their favorite boot tails, tails, suicide, the suicide shed. And when you look at these colors, I just grabbed a couple examples to look. We help them take colors that were in a hard bait business and at walleye fishermen were using and put them in to soft baits. They came out with a wide variety of colors. And it's, it's a color is a big deal in the world of walleye fishing. And it's always amazed me that you see, particularly on hard baits, how color sensitive they can be in, in clear water environments. And when we added these new colors to the boot tail line, it's really been a success for them. Lots of walleye fishermen jumped on it right away. And the other bait on a moon, a, a moon eye jig is a, what we call a split tail, your fork tail. Did the same thing help them design different colors that are walleye, you know, strictly walleye colors. And they got a whole bunch of them. You can go online and look at them. And I don't use twister tails anymore. I remember the day when twister tails, that's all you needed. When they were like magic for every kind of fish, crappies, smallmouth bass, walleyes. When was the last time you heard somebody talk about on television doing a walleye show, and talk about a twister tail. It's been some time. It's nailed down to two life, two styles of baits, the boot tail and the split tail. 
When do you use which one? Well, the boot tail is when you want to fish slower. It grabs a bait. It fish vertical. It comes up like this and drops real slow. It slows the bait down. The split tail fishes a whole lot faster. You know, it doesn't hold as much water. It's thin, and when you snap it, it actually rolls to the side. It'll jump to the side on that flat head, and it, it, it has a lot of triggering qualities. There's days when we go on the water, we'll never have. Each guy in, in a boat, almost inevitably, if I know I'm on a good jig bite, you'll start, one guy will start with a boot tail, one guy will start with a split tail, and let the fish tell you what they want. In her, but it's a guide to start going, start going. But that's a good guide. There's times they need it slow, and that boot tail is the answer. There's times that triggering effect really fast with that bait trips their trigger. And when it's on, like anything, when it's on and it's doing its thing, it's like magic. It's just like magic. You can't beat it. And it's so much fun to fish. No live bait needed at all. Straight, pl straight plastic. So I mean, I mean no, these are plastic plastic baits that that really have been designed in advance strictly for walleye fishing because of the colors and the shape and the eyes and the colors. Co co we're thinking about you, the walleye angler, how to help you find and catch more fish. Another bait that is near and dear to me is the moon tail, bucktail jig. I gotta tell you a little bit about this. I spent two years working with the folks from VMC to design this bait. A lot more goes into it. When you look at this bait, a lot more went into it than a lot of people realize. The biggest mistake that manufacturers make with a bucktail jig is putting too much hair in it. When they have too much hair in it, it clumps it together. It doesn't breathe. It isn't alive. It comes through the water like a stick. There's nothing to it. All it has is color. It doesn't really have any action. The action is what you do with it. We learned that you need to really sparsen the hair up. And it's the right amount. This took a lot, a lot more work than you think it is to make that bait breathe. When it's alive coming through the water, it's living. It looks like a live thing. It's just breathing and moving. And, and we also put a top-notch hook in it. And we put that big eye. You're going to... Look at that eyeball. We learned when we were first, when the moon tail came on the market, you would think, does an eyeball really, does it make a difference? Well, the more we fished it, I'm convinced that it made a difference. The, the triggering, you caught more fish than a, a bait that didn't have a big eye. There was something to a bigger eyeball on that thing. You, know, you put it together, it all helped you get more bites on the water. And that's the only way you know. You get on the water and you do it day after day after day after day. You have live bait fishermen in the boat and I'm fishing against artificials. There's days you see mixtures just learn and learn and learn. And I'll capsulize this a little bit, a little bit later. I love fishing plastic and I love fishing hair. I probably spend 80% or more of my walleye fishing in a season is done with jig style baits. And a big portion of it is the two soft plastic shapes, split tails, boot tail, and hair jigs. A big portion of it. And then comes after that, you get a little more aggressive. One of the most amazing baits I have ever fished in my life, a jigging wrap. The jigging wrap. When I first got onto this thing by accident on a crappy fishing extravaganza trip, and seeing what this thing did for walleyes, it was a wake-up call at the end of the day. I said, wow, i never seen anything quite like this. Well, I spent a couple years fishing nine different bodies of water in a wooded jigging wrap to learn how to fish this jigging wrap to trigger fish. Nine different kinds of environments to see to make sure that that first experience wasn't a fluke. And the more we did it, the more we learned. And still till today, that jigging wrap of that style of baits, the shape of it, long skinny bait, that number seven or number nine, the shape of that jigging wrap, there's a variety of baits like it, but the jigging wrap, there's something about that bait that is magic that the other baits that look like it don't do. The pull point 
on that bait, the shape of it, the way it grabs water, it is the fastest. I, I say the jigging wrap is the fastest of this style bait. And what I mean by that, when it jumps off the water, when it comes off at the bottom, it goes like it goes like this. It jumps up and shoots way off to the side when you drop it back on a slack line. It is so fast. Most of the other ones go in the water and watch it. Most of them jump with a slight twist. None of them twist to the side like that jigging wrap. It is what makes that bait absolute magic. And I can't, there are so many tournaments won on it now over the years. There's every good angler in a country that fishes walleyes and most bodies of water I know have experienced how deadly that jig and wrap can be. And it still is after all these years. It's an amazing, amazing bait. I'm telling you, it's, it's like a miracle bait. When it's on, you're going to sit there and fish everything else around and you're going to look at it and say, wow, you're going to have a cork with leeches here. You're going to have a cork with night crawlers here and you're going to be in the middle of it throwing a jig and wrap. Once in a while, the cork with leeches will go down. Once in a while, the cork with crawlers will go down. In the meantime, you're sitting in the middle going, walleye, 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 walleye. Guys in a boat are going like this. Wow, wow, it's a walleye miracle. <laughs> Last year, BMC came out with a version, a different version of this style bait. It's called, called, called the Jigging Shadow Wrap. You can see it's completely different. One hook on the back, nothing on the, the end of it. One single treble, a little bit bigger. The bait is not lead. It is not weight. It's different weight. This bait fish is really, really, really different than a jigging wrap or that style of bait. None of the other baits, when you fish this thing, you have to get your head into fishing it slower. When, I'm, when you see it in the water, when you go to snap it, the jigging wrap will go like this and go real fast. This bait will really jump high. When you, it, the bait tends to jump much higher. It's got way more lift to it. And when it goes to the side, it pauses. It gets a pause and it almost pauses momentarily and then it glides down. The other baits like that don't do that. There is no pause. They both have a time and a place. You get that pause and you're gonna get the bite on the pause or when it goes back down and hits the bottom. And, and when these fish, when they're hitting this style bait, or even, even a jigging wrap, when they're hitting it, when they're feeding up at it, you will see it'll always be down their throat. The bait will be harmonica in their mouth. Go, they're gulping it. When they're picking it up off the bottom, you're gonna hook them on either the back hook, a treble hook here. They're hooked usually in the corner of the mouth. They're hooked if they're going into the bottom and grabbing the bait. It tells you, well, as soon as you catch your first fish and you see how, 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 how they're getting hooked, it tells you what the fish are doing. They're, you've got to really jump the rod more. Jump the rod. They're hitting it on the high. They're not hitting it when it's on, or vice versa. So how that fish, how that bait is positioned in the fish's mouth tells you which bait to start to use. This one's only been on the market for two years now. And we're having some learning curves. With it. Where does it work its best? And usually new styles of baits like this, you need about three years. Three years for the fishermen to fish it in a lot of different environments in different parts of the country and start getting the needed feedback. You know, you do your initial testing and you're pretty sure you got this right, but nothing beats getting a, a lot of baits in a lot of people's hands in a lot of different places. And then it starts really coming together and making sense. Yeah, making sense. So these are really fast triggering baits, the hair jigs, the, the boot tails, the split tails, and the jig and wrap, dynamite, di dynamite baits. Of the lipless crank belt, uh, lipless crank baits, this is a rip and wrap. This bait, there's a lot of styles of bait like this, but there's only, again, one rip and wrap. There's been so many manufacturers that made a version of this thing, but it has proved to be the most effective walleye bait of its type, of these types of baits. None of the other ones catch fish like the Rip and Rack does. It is, everything is right in the bait to trigger the fish. Yeah, yeah, you know, it is, and they use it through the ice. It's been, it's been adapted to many conditions. A lot of the Great Lakes guys are using it. Inland waters, 
It's of a phenomenal, and it's fished like a jig. You fish it like a jig. And there's times you can rip it off, you'll feel it ripped off the bottom, and you, you hear the rod go, you can just feel it. And there's other times you take that rod and you just, you, it just barely jumps off the bottom. You barely jump it. And those, that's when those fish are pounding on the bottom, pounding on it. It is a mainstay in every walleye fisherman's tackle box. And it is still just a honey of a bait for big fish, numbers of fish, and different kind of bites. It's a mainstay. More recently, not more recently, one of the old style, this is a blade bait. This is a, new, a, a newer blade bait from Rapala. Blade baits been around for many, many years. They go back, I, to the best of my knowledge, the first one, gazillion, I can remember fishing them 50 years ago was a head and sonar. I mean, uh, 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 not sonar, uh, a head and, uh, well, it was a blade bait made by Hedden. And it was the first of the blade baits. And there's a place for this in the walleye world. Generally speaking, from everything we see and know, a blade bait works its best in cold water, in rivers, rivers, current environments. Sauger love this thing. They absolutely love it. And there, but it has a niche in there, but it's generally almost everybody we know, all kind of experimenting, all different kinds of bodies of water. It tends to be a river current bait. And you just fish it, or, you know, sometimes you're ripping it, sometimes just a short pop, but it is a blade bait. These six styles of baits, like I said, I use probably 80% of the season, maybe more. I love fishing reaction baits. Again, it isn't the cure-all. Will they outfish live bait all the time? No. But they're going to outfish live bait more than most people realize. And you're seeing it in tournament results, walleye tournament trails. You're seeing these styles of these baits that I just talked about, different sizes and shapes and tweaks uh, on them that are winning more money in big walleye tournaments and you're seeing less and less and less of live bait in a walleye world. You're seeing artificials keep producing more and bigger fish as more anglers use them. St. Croix rods, you know, I've got, I've got here the Avid series rod and I've got two of the legend tournament series well, walleye rods and then there's the Icon series. All three of these rods are excellent walleye baits, walleye rods for a variety of different kinds of presentations that I'm talking about. Each one has a different price point. Again, it's the Icon, the, the Avid series, and the Legend Tournament Walleye series. In particular, you're an Avid walleye fish, no pun intended. <laughs> Go take a look at one of these three rod series will fit your fishing needs. And from all of us here at Linder Media Productions, we're thankful we can be a part of St. Croix, the St. Croix family, and helping people find and catch more fish. Have a good season.